Hi, this is Greg Benz, the demonstration of the new lighter and darker masking option in Lumenzio version 1.9. This is a completely new way of making a luminosity mask. I'm going to show how this works in just a minute, but first let's just dive right into the image and understand why we need a new way of creating a luminosity mask and how we can use it to our advantage. So with this image here, there were several things I wanted to quickly adjust. First, there's a lot of distracting marks on the back wall I need to clone out. Then I wanted to bring back more shadow detail or uh, actually deepen the shadows on the stairs here in order to add more depth and dimension to the staircase. And then lastly, I wanted to blend a darker exposure to recover some of the highlight detail in the brightest part of the stairs here. And I did that with a series of adjustments in this group. Just kind of going through these real quickly here, all of these were created in Lumenzia and Photoshop. So first we have the cloning to clean up the walls there. Then, using Lumenzia to deepen the shadows and using Lumenzia's vignette to draw the eye back towards the staircase. And then lastly, blend in those highlight areas of the stairs just very, very subtly. And we can see from the before to the after that it's a dramatic improvement in the image. I think it looks really nice. And I could call it quits at this point, but I'm not quite done. I think there's something that would really make this image sing. And that is the main subject is this pattern of dots that look like an eye on this back wall. That's what keeps this image from looking like another staircase. That's what makes this interesting and unique. And what I wanna do is create more separation between these lights and the background. I want these somewhat faded lights here to look much more like these bright lights up here. I think that's gonna create a much stronger effect, a much more powerful visual image. But the problem is they're very hard to select. We're looking at various shades of light dots on a light background. These are true highlights. These are very weak midtones. Uh, and then all of these dots are against a very light background. So if we look at different luminosity options, let's look at lights masks. Obviously a lights one has no real separation. There's a difference, but if we try and paint through a selection here, we're gonna be lightening the background around the dots. It's just not gonna work. If we look at a lights two, then there are some areas where the dots are starting to have real separation from the background, but it's not that great. Lights three, uh, some areas are better, although we kind of skipped a few areas to get there and we can keep moving through these and see that eventually we get many of the dots, but none of these fully would get all the dots. Even if we combine them all together, we're not gonna get everything. So we can instead look at the zone mass in Lumenzia, starting with zone 10, and we see better separation which we should expect because the zone mask is a much tighter selection of luminosity. So it's gonna better discriminate between close highlights. But as we go down here, we can see we're getting different areas here. It gets to zone eight, we're starting to get more of these background details. Zone seven, kind of getting the rest. So I can see that if I work with zone seven through 10 and probably some of these light selections between L3 and L5, that eventually we'll be able to select all the dots and individually recreate this pattern but it'd be a lot of work and there may be a few places where we have to do some pretty good manual refinement to fake it because there just might not be a mask that really gets us what we need. So that's the problem with the traditional masks and what we really want here, just kind of clean this up for a second, is instead a way to select things that are brighter than their surroundings. If we look at these dots, no matter whether they're super bright or just a little bit kind of a you know light midtone, they're all lighter than their surroundings. So we just need to simply go and find pixels that are lighter than their surroundings. And that's exactly what this new tool does in Lumenzia. But before we do that, let's just quickly set the stage. We're gonna add a curves adjustment to significantly lighten the image. And I'm gonna alt click down in the mask option to put a black mask. So this has been completely hidden, but as soon as we grab a paintbrush and start painting on it, we can see that anything we paint white on this mask is gonna lighten the underlying image. So all we need now is a selection of these dots and we can simply paint through it. So let's click on the lighter and darker masking option. And we see that we have two options. We can create a selection based on pixels that are lighter than the surrounding pixels or ones that are darker. And obviously in this case, every single thing we wanna select is lighter than its surrounding. So that's the right option. And then we can choose the radius of comparison. We can determine do you want to compare this dot to just its neighboring pixels or really looking further away? And that just gives us different ways of discriminating. In this case, I'm going to go with the default, which generally works pretty well. And so we can see here, we now have a single mask preview 
that shows all of the dots are selected. Somewhat to somewhat different degrees, but we have a very good separation and this is gonna work perfectly for us. Now, if it wasn't exactly what we wanted, or if we wanna further refine this, we can open up the orange preview layers in Lumenzia and customize them just like we can with any luminosity mask in Lumenzia. It's fully customizable, but I don't think we need to do that here. So we're just gonna load this as it is into a selection. So I click on that, we're gonna see the marching ants here, and I'm just gonna hold down Command H to hide them. So the selection is still active, but I just don't want to be looking at it. It's pretty distracting as we go and paint around the image here. So I'm just simply painting white. I'm sorry, I need to step back a couple of steps here. Let's go back here, make sure we've selected the mask. And now we're just gonna paint white on this mask here. And so the selection is restricting the paintbrush to just those areas that are lighter. And then all these areas of the mask that we lighten up are gonna cause, or they are gonna allow the uh, curve to do its work and lighten up the image. So it's just really the combination of the two. And again, remember, if we had tried to do this with the zone mass or the tradi traditional you know, L3, et cetera, then we could do this process you know, four, five, six, seven times to try and do this. But here we're able to load a single selection that works for everything. And I think we already have made a significant improvement in this image and it's probably done. So if we look at the before and the after, we can see like that just really pops there. And all we had to do was just find a way of selecting the parts of the image that were lighter than the surroundings. So that's the new lighter and darker masking option in Lumenzia. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you might be able to use this in your images. It's a completely new way of approaching things and I'm sure that all of you will have a lot to teach me. So thanks for taking the time to look at this demo. If you want to learn more about Lumenzia, just go to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.